The leader of the Barcelona World Race, Cheminé Pujola, continues to take on the Atlantic Ocean with a southeasterly 35-knot wind, but is being affected by a depression located over South Georgia Island. The conditions don't let them rest for a minute. C'est sûr que c'est pas facile. Pour moi, c'est la partie la plus compliquée euh, du trajet, quoi. C'est toujours un peu euh, machine à laver. Là, on est dans la, dans la traîne de la dépression. On va garder du vent fort euh, encore un moment, là. Cette nuit, on a eu, euh, on a eu le vent le plus fort qu'on a eu depuis le début de la course. Là. A few miles away from Cape Horn, Neutrogena and Geis battle for second place, taking advantage of a generous northeasterly wind. Anna Courbeya doesn't hide her exhaustion, and Altadil, who has crossed the Cape six times, admits that this is a particularly difficult moment. You're living in waves, uh, windy, more stress, more worries. Around the Cape Horn means the, the, the beginning of the work, the way to go back home, to approach the finish line, uh, to go for a lighter, te better temperatures, to better, to better conditions. For Jose Munoz, crossing the last cape of the regatta is also very symbolic. He will dedicate it to his deceased colleague, the Chilean sailor Felipe Cubillos. Guys and Notrogena, they are 320 miles away from the Cape Horn for Notrogena. They are having northwesterly winds and they are just behind a ridge located just south of uh, Cape Horn. So they are west of this ridge and they are having 20 to 25 knots of wind coming from the northwest. And they should arrive at Cape Horn this night. So that means between 3 a.m. UTC until midday for gas. In the middle of the Pacific, we are water and one planet, one ocean and Pharmaton are vying for the fourth position. We are water and one planet, one ocean, just behind a big ridge located on the east. So they are having a northeasterly breeze and they are still sailing upwind. Concerning Renault Capture, the wind is now, is now blowing 20 to 25 knots of wind coming from the west. Meanwhile, Spirit of Hungary should set sail today from Bluff Harbor in under not so favorable conditions. The situation is not very easy because we still have a high pressure located at the east of New Zealand and this high pressure brings them very, very light south easterly breeze. They will have to sail upwind in light breeze during the first 24 hours. <laughs>